Hello everyone. On behalf of Skilllink, I welcome you all participants introduction to battery technology for electric vehicle application course. In the first part of the course, we are going to learn about battery technology background and electrochemistry fundamentals. Let us discuss what are the contents of this course and what you can expect as the outcome of this course. So this is going to be a beginner level course where the target audience is undergraduate and postgraduate mechanical and automotive students and fresh engineers. In fact, anyone at a beginner level can take up this course who wish to learn about the battery technology and do some hands-on experiments with lithium ion batteries. What are the things included in the course? So the course coverage is overview of electrochemistry, important battery terminologies, mathematical modeling of the battery using MATLAB and Simulink, battery management system, charging and discharging characteristics for electric and hybrid electric vehicles, and thermal management. We are also going to point out what are the roles and responsibilities of mechanical and automotive engineers for battery and hybrid electric vehicles. The prerequisites for this course, before you begin this course, I'm assuming that you have very fundamental knowledge of electrical engineering and electronics engineering which you might have covered during your school days or maybe during the very first year of your engineering program. After the completion of this course, uh, what are the outcomes? What you can expect? A learner will be able to know more about choice of the battery chemistry. You will be also able to use the mathematical model of the lithium ion battery in MATLAB and Simuli. You will also learn about battery management system, understand lithium ion battery pack design for electric and hybrid electric vehicle applications. And you will also learn about the thermal management requirement and of course about the economics and the recycling of lithium ion batteries. So before we begin, let me quickly give you the idea about what this course is about. So I'm going to show you some of the pictures which will help you to understand more about this course. So here I'm showing a typical battery pack for a pure electric car, which is Tesla. So Tesla is using this kind of battery packs for the automotive propulsions. If you open up electric powertrain, you are going to see some lithium ion battery pack, which will look like this. So if you are expecting to learn more about this kind of battery packs used in electric and hybrid electric vehicles, this course is the right selection for you. This is a Nissan Leaf and here you can see the battery pack in the base of this or the chassis of this car here. So this is a battery pack uh, connected like this. So these are the systems or these are the topics which I am going to cover in this course and you will be learning about all how this battery pack is assembled, what are the cells used, how it is charged and discharged. And instead of actually building up a battery pack, how we can do the modeling as well. So here I'm going to start with the actual electrochemistry, which you probably in your school days learn something about electrolytes and separator as materials inside the battery. So we are going to start our learning in the first part with electrochemistries. So what are the cathode materials and anode materials? What chemical reactions take place inside the battery? And how the current flows through the load, whether it's a lamp or a motor in case of an electric or hybrid electric vehicle. Few more idea about the batteries. You are going to learn about different types of lithium ion cells. So there are various form factors of the cells Apart from this, you have the cylindrical cells, you have the pouch and the prismatic cells. So these are the kind of cells which you might have seen in your old cell phones. We are also going to study about the battery management system and how lithium ion battery pack is assembled. So here you can see one of the image where the battery management system board is shown and it is going to be kept near to the all cells connected in series and parallel. We are also going to learn about in detail about with battery management system, their configurations, their design and its complete electrical 
architecture. In this course, we are also going to learn about the mathematical model, which is very, very important in order to do some simulation and study. So this is a mathematical model built inside the MATLAB, which you can experiment with. We are also going to learn about the complete model whether it's not only the number of cells or the battery pack but also with the battery management system software so we are going to have the complete system level simulation for the electric and hybrid electric vehicle battery pack you are also going to learn about the mounting and assembling of the different cells onto the battery management system and their connectors and their performance this image shows a typical application where the hand tool battery packs will look like so and we are also going to learn about how to estimate about state of charge of the battery what is the level of the battery and how we can calculate it accurately so this is also included in this course and in the end we are also going to learn about from where the batteries come from and how they are going to get degraded and what is the complete life cycle of a battery so we'll also discuss something related with this circular economy the other economic and commercial factor and we are also going to learn about how the vehicle batteries can be deployed to some other projects so here we are also going to learn about the complete recycling of the batteries which are used in electric and hybrid electric vehicles so in brief we are going to learn starting from the electrochemistry to everything which is required to know about electric vehicle battery packs and we are going to end up our discussion with the circular economy and the recycling process for battery packs as well so let's begin our journey for learning of the battery technologies in my opinion there are two perspectives in a very broader way of looking at a battery so here you can see this is a complete battery model and if you open up the box apart from these two terminals which is positive and negative you will see various types of cells inside this battery box so there are two perspectives one is the chemist perspective i will say the chemical engineering perspective and other is the battery pack engineers perspective so battery pack engineers are nothing but the users and the chemist or chemical engineers are nothing but the designers or maker of battery cells so there are two perspective in my opinion and we are going to see a little perspective of uh, the inside part as well and then we'll come back to the battery pack engineering so in fact these two engineers working in a different environment one which is looking after the inside of a cell or inside of a battery the other is going to actually give the requirements or operating conditions for electric vehicle conditions so the battery pack engineers and the chemical engineers will work hand in hand together and they are going to share the information not only in terms of the type of the chemistry but also how was the performance with their application let us discuss about each of this perspective so the first perspective from the chemical engineering point of view is the inside perspective we are going to discuss about materials processes and cell so the materials which are available from the mines and there are several processes with them and all these materials will come out as a cell as a final product so this is the inside perspective this inside perspective includes the recipes and manufacturability so what are those chemistries which are going to work out in a best way in order to be used for electric and hybrid electric vehicle applications we are also going to see about how are this availability of the material and the manufacturability of a typical cell technology so this requires electrochemistry fundamentals also the packaging and the form factor and we are 
going to have a little introduction or a few more slides on this topic we are going to discuss about this all points where it is electrochemistry packaging and form factor and then quickly we are going to jump to the outside perspective or the user's perspective so the user's perspective is the battery is a black box and we want to use this battery system for propulsion application so this is going to be the electrical engineering perspective and we are going to do cells to module to the system so this is going to be a system level study not looking inside of the cells much yes but out of those cells which chemists have made right out of those number of chemistries which are commercially available the battery pack engineers are going to make a choice of a better suitable cell for their system or for their application this is going to be the automotive application uh, which we are going to discuss this battery as a black box we are going to treat them as energy source and we are going to study about their external dc circuits so this is going to be a direct current external circuit where the battery is the source of energy we are also going to discuss in this perspective about the electronics which is very near to the battery cells and we are going to have a detailed study with this perspective so let me discuss a few things about the inside part first and then we are going to go with the outside perspective but before going into this part uh, let's discuss about what has happened what are the background of the battery technology and what we see today and how old are the batteries and we are also going to learn about what are the proven chemistries for batteries so before going into this we are going to discuss the use case which is battery plus automotive so let's first focus on the use case where we'll discuss the application of the batteries for automotives so since when we are actually using the batteries probably quite long ago yes so the batteries are quite old maybe even older than we started counting the centuries so the very first battery was found 2200 years ago approximately in iraq somewhere uh, where this place today which is known as the baghdad and it is also known as baghdad battery so the baghdad battery something similar to this where you have a jar filled with the acidic liquid and which is capable of generating small current so this was a very first uh, battery and which was uh, invented before the great scientist galvano and volta used their cells or invented those battery chemistries and it is expected or it is said that this type of baghdad batteries might have been used for electroplating so this batteries might have been used for making a gold plating of uh, on certain metals or maybe some ornaments or something like that so the batteries are quite old as you can see uh, they are old as 2200 years and here you will find three elements a ceramic pot a tube of copper and a rod of iron so this is the iron rod and this iron rod is going to be one of the terminal of the battery and the tube of copper is going to be another terminal of the battery and with this two terminals of the battery you are going to have some current flowing in the external circuit so the ceramic pot is actually going to be a vessel for the acidic liquid which is kept inside so this is about the history of the battery and the very first battery in the history of mankind 